Hey everybody, welcome back to Active Self Protection Extra. Here with my friend John Espy from SWAT Ministries out of Thailand. Got something I want to talk to you about. So John here is an expert in training people to uh, defend themselves on the street in tough environments, particularly environments you can't carry a gun. Yeah. Um, and I want to ask him a question here. <laughs> Do you think that sport jiu-jitsu will get you killed on the street? Ooh, that's a controversial question on this one. <laughs> here we go. Here comes the hate mail. <laughs> All right, here's the thing now, right? So you study at a school, yeah. uh, GFT in, in yeah. uh, Chiang Rai, yep. Thailand, that uh, there's an awful lot of, of competitors yeah. come out of GFT, players. right? Yeah. Um, I st study under Josh Stockman here at Attitude First, yeah. and Josh is a no-gi world champion, right? And we focus on sport. And, and, and the sport of jiu-jitsu has yeah. just boomed, right? Yeah. So if you want to know John's bona fides in terms of self-defense, make sure you watch the other video that we uh, just posted a bit ago about his background. But in a nutshell, Aikido brown belt, um, a, a Taiho Jutsu black right belt, um, a, uh, a command and control. Uh, Sub-control system. Sub-control system instructor. See, there's so many, I don't <laughs> even know what they are. Uh, been studying jiu-jitsu for yeah. seven and a half, eight years, yeah. and um, teach people every day. So yeah. tell us about what you're teaching people and, and what you are doing in terms of when you're training folks. Yeah, um, so what we train folks to do, um, guys are going undercover, to go in bars and brothels to rescue children out of slavery. And that's kind of our, our, our area that we are uh, kind of niched into. Uh, and so what we do, we, we're, we don't want these guys to stay and fight. We're not teaching them to fight. We want to try to get them out of that situation as quick as yeah. possible, alive. So what can happen is, is again, it he, he helps uh, teams that go in to rescue underage girls out of sex trafficking and sex slavery, which is huge in Asia. Oh, yeah. Thailand in particular has an incredibly, ridiculously, evilly thriving uh, you know, sex trade for underage yeah. girls. And, and of course, that's a dangerous environment yeah. because if they get caught doing that, so that's a lot of times there's recon involved, there's people yeah. going in posing as um, clients yeah. to, to kind of do recon and those things. And if they get caught doing that, yeah. those guys obviously take that very, very personally yeah. and can be a deadly threat. Yeah, you mess with somebody's money, they get, tend to get mad. You yeah, know? they get real they get upset. Um, so yeah, that can be a dangerous situation for them. And so what we want to do is to give them the, the, the basic self-defense tools that they can uh, to protect themselves and their partner, because they always go in teams, to get out of a, a bad situation. Mm. And they're not carrying. They don't have any tools that they can really use um, that to basically keep them, uh, to equalize the force kind of thing. Right. And, so, and it's never going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know, it's never going to be mm. that in Thailand. Uh, any, anywhere, it's never going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. And so uh, to stay there and bang with somebody is not, is not the answer in that kind of situation. So we teach them to get out of there as quick as possible. And so uh, we, it's, a, it's a mixture of jiu-jitsu, um, judo, wrestling, aikido, you know, the mixture of everything. Some Filipino knife fighting in there as well, too, if they do have a tool to right. be able to use. Sometimes, um, you know, like a, a big bright flashlight. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Some uh, things like that. But this is real world stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's real world. It's not, it's not, um, not competition. <laughs> and, and been pressure tested in real environments where people have had to yes, defend themselves yeah, yeah. against real life attacks. Yes. And, and yet you study sport jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's get to the meat of it. Do you think that, that jiu-jitsu will get you killed on the streets? I, 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 I'll, I'll caveat with this. I think it can get you killed. I think it can, has the potential, anything that you do has a potential, any technique that you do has the potential of, of going wrong. Sure. Um, so I think that um, without making the transition or having the filter to filter out some sport techniques and, and, and positions, I think it can get you hurt sometimes. Okay. Uh, however, the vast majority of it, the, the vast majority of jiu-jitsu is very, very easily switched over. Sure. Very easily switched over to a, a, a striking or self-defense situation. Right. Um, it's kind of like the thing on the ground. If you, if you want to learn how to fight on the ground, jiu-jitsu is king. Yeah, if, if, I mean, it's, it's the, the thing in the world. Exactly. It is, it is, it is no, nothing else better out there uh, for ground fighting than jiu-jitsu. And, and even if you have to go through sport jiu-jitsu, it's going to teach you what you need to know to do that. Now you have to make that transition of, okay, now the strike's involved. So I, now I, need, to, I need to bring somebody in, pressure test the strikes. How do I cover up from that? How do I, you, uh, you know, uh, at the Gracies, they'll say manage the power shots, those right. kind of things. Uh, manage distance, manage time. And you have to add those things to your training yeah. to, make that, to make that jump. But that jump is not huge. It's not, it's not a big, like if I'm studying Eido, which is sorts of, sorts of, yeah, kind of like that. You know? That's a big jump That's to go to, jump. to go to, to self-defense, but jiu-jitsu is very, very uh, already in there. And, and, you know, and the roots of it is, is self-defense, uh, you know, so. So at its core, right, in its roots is it was brought over to Brazil yeah. from Japan and, and worked on by the Gracies. It started yeah. as a defensive yeah. art. 
And then, of course, anytime you go to a competition, you go to a tournament, yeah. there's rules involved, so then people yeah. start playing to the rules, yeah. and, and then the techniques evolve to the rules, and, and I get that. So you just gotta recognize, I think, to me anyways, that sometimes when I am in a self-defense encounter, the rules are different. Yeah, definitely. You know, you, biting people is perfectly legal. <laughs> you know? Well, uh, and, and if you go, okay, wait a minute, I, I really control, and I start by controlling shoulders and, mm. and hips, mm. You know, when I'm looking to, to position somebody, yeah. whatever, on the street, somebody's got me on the ground, I gotta watch out for their pockets and yeah. their hands, because yeah. their waistline is where bad yeah. things coming from, yeah. but their hands are going to get them. Yeah. So that's a contextual yeah. change you that have, I gotta You have make. to watch that a little bit. And you also have to watch, and especially in the context that we're in, um, when we're training these guys, is uh, you're, not, you, you're not alone. That, the the yeah. guy is not alone. The guy has buddies, and so if I'm, if I'm totally committed to this guy, and I may have a great position on him, and his buddy walks up and his football punts me in the face, I got problems. I'm, I'm done, you know, at that point. So you have well, and hopefully have my buddy is there and can freaking football punt him yeah, in the exactly. face so we can get the exactly. out of there. And so that's the, and we also teach that. We teach partner drills and, okay, my buddy's getting beat down. How do I get the guy off top of him? And so I can control him yeah. while my buddy gets up and we get the crap out of there. So. And, and I think that, you know, again, learning to get up. Learning, yeah, that's And to huge. get up. If somebody got you down, you can't just, well, get up. You should just get up. Oh, it's yeah, very Good hard. luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, I've said if you want to try to hold somebody down yeah. that really wants to get up, it's harder than you yeah. think it is. So. So those techniques are, I mean, just one to one. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, okay, we got them. Yeah. You know, some other stuff. You go, okay, am I going to really try to pull off a heel hook, you yeah. know, on the street or whatever? I might yeah. bust some guy's knee. Yeah. I'll reap over the top and yeah. just snap that knee out. And oh, yeah. there went his ACL, and now he's mad and he's hurting though, so I can get the heck up and yeah, get out of exactly. here. Yeah. And, um, and those and those transition over pretty well. I think um, you always want to add things. Like you want to take you take your core. And I think jiu-jitsu is a great core. I think mm. uh, jiu-jitsu is a great core. Wrestling is a great core. Uh, a striking art, you know, a, a pressure-tested striking art with uh, you know, Muay Thai, boxing, things that you can get in there and mix it up on a regular basis. A really good core to have. Mm. Um, and then you start adding things as you need. You start filling those holes. It's like with jiu-jitsu. A lot of people are filling it with wrestling, the takedowns with wrestling. Yep. Because it's a very effective. Wrestling is some of the best takedowns in the world. You, I mean, if you're going to do takedowns, Wrestling's probably the best. And takedown defense. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, it's so, not, you know, you go, oh, okay, it's okay, I, learn, I know how to sprawl. Okay, that's yeah. the only thing you know how to do, yeah. right? but you probably want to know a little more than that. Yeah. And, and uh, a judo as well, yeah, right? You know, learning right. how, to, how to use somebody's mm -hmm. momentum against yeah. them and those kind of things. So, so I think in the overall, I'm hearing you say, uh, if you never do anything but sport, just recognize that that's not gonna help you on the street without a little new context. Yeah, you need to have a little bit of, 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 of filtering, a little bit of, uh, Dirty box and put into it. Throw some gloves on. Throw some dirt in yeah. your sport game. Yeah, a little bit there, and that, and that it will bleed, it will switch over pretty easily. And here's a here's a challenge for you. Maybe uh, at your jujitsu school, maybe you find a couple of trusted buddies, and uh, you put the mouth guards on, and you put those four ounce gloves on, mm. or some six ounce gloves on, yeah. uh, where you still have maybe open fingers. Yeah. You can do all your stuff, but 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 you know medium strikes. You don't have yeah. to go full yeah, bore on those. Yeah. But you smack a guy upside the head, yeah. and you're like, oh, wait a minute, what just happened? Yeah. Well, I'm punching you in the face yeah. here, dude. Oh, i got to defend that yeah, exactly. right now. Exactly. Or I've also seen, hey, you know what I'm going to do? One of you is going to have a yeah, knife, knife on you. And, you know, a training blade or whatever. Yeah. Not a real one. That would be <laughs> stupid. But, you know, a training blade, then yeah. you start going, oh, man, that changes the focus. It does i got change this a lot big stuff. thing here, you know. It does change um, a lot. And, and we always said when we do that is if he gets a knife out, that's just as good as a submission. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're done, you know. Yeah. Let's try over. So, so guys, um, my, my thing is, as you know, I'm training jiu-jitsu now. Uh, I'm going to do it for at least, I think, the next 18 months to really get a base of it. <clears throat> but um, can it get you killed on the streets? Eh, if you're not smart, but I think yeah. you're smarter than that. Yeah. I think you can take all the sport jiu-jitsu in the world and maybe pressure test a little bit of additives to it with some strikes. Focus on, hey, I need to get, be able to get up as quick as yeah. I can. I need to learn how to get off the bottom, get to the top, use yeah. that to get out. And if you do those things and you learn, you know, kind of the recontextualized part, maybe do something like a Craig Douglas ECQC class where they really focus on that kind of combative jiu-jitsu side. I think it'd be valuable. And that's why I hang around this guy because he teaches me stuff. Appreciate you, bro. Love you, man. And now listen, can't tell you enough. You want to learn how to learn some more from John, um, SWAT Ministries International. They do incredible work rescuing underage girls out of sex trafficking. I'm a supporter of John's ministry. Um, he's here just as a friend of mine, and we're here this week just hanging out in Phoenix and having fun. I'm a, a monthly supporter because, listen, to do that work, you can't work a regular job, unfortunately. That <laughs> yeah. is your job. That is my job, And yeah. there ain't no money in it. You rescue a girl <laughs> out of sex trafficking, and she ain't got no money because all her money went to her pimp. And that's the truth, you guys. So I think it's a moral good. Support his ministry. Think about becoming a supporter. And if you do, I'd appreciate you muchly. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Gus. God bless.